Hi guys, it's Elise from The Painted Brushing Co. I'm here today with this bookcase that I uh, have been working on the past few days. And today I want to show you um, a basic blending technique that's quite easy with a few different colours. I apologise for Oliver. Um, he's currently ripping apart a drawer here in my kitchen. But um, I'll try and phase out his noise as much as I can. So, today I'm just going to tilt the camera down so you can see what I'm working on. So this, I'm up to the top of the piece. I've already done the two sides. Um, and they were just... They were just practice bits and now I'm doing the top of it. So, here I have got... I've just got three little bowls. I've got the steel, uh, which is a beautiful blue, black, grey colour. It's like in, in between all those three. So steel, that is the base colour here. Um, you'll notice it's quite a lot darker in the bowl than what it is on the piece. But when I seal it, it will go a lot darker. The piece has had two coats of steel. Um, and then I have got ash. So these are all essential botanics colours. Ash is a beautiful grey that I've used quite a few times. And in my last bowl, I have some linen and elephant grey. And finally, I have my Klingon 035, my favourite brush. You guys can see how well this is used. I use this for everything. And I have a bottle of water, just spray. All this is, shh, all this is going to do is just help me spread my paint out as it dries. It is quite warm in here right now. Um, so it's just going to make it a little bit easier. Um, it's just an old Windex bottle. I figured I may as well uh, reuse one rather than buying a new spray bottle. Um, just make sure if you do reuse bottles that you give them a really, really good wash so that there's no chemicals remaining in them uh, because the chemicals may react with the paint um, or cause issues with, the, with your paint. So, handy little tip there. So, this has had two coats of steel and I'm just sort of going to play around with this. I'm not going for super obvious blending it's just really light um and airy for me so and i am working on nice long lines i don't want it to look really patchy so uh my brush here is a little bit damp i used this just before it hasn't had a wash it's a little bit damp and i'm actually going to spray my surface right from the word go Just a little bit, uh, just to make it a bit easier right from the word go. And you can already see there's grey appearing there from what I already had on my brush. And I'm going for nice, long, even strokes. And you're just going to fill these layers up. And the best thing is, if you don't like it, you can paint over it and start again. I'm just adding a little bit of my white and my grey, just a little bit. And what I'm going to do is grab my bottle because it's had a few moments to dry. It's not spraying great, but that's fine. And then the water is just going to help me blend this a little bit easier. And I'm just going to keep building this up a little bit more. I don't want heaps of white. I really do want it just little streaks here and there poking through, adding the colour. Just up and down. Can you see there's little pops of white? I've got some grey happening. I'm actually going to add a little bit of both of these together. You can mix colours, of course, a little bit. Um, custom colours. You can add whatever colours you want. I've just picked these four. Um, I just think they complement each other quite well for this piece. And the water, again, it's just making it easier to move. If you want to get like a drippy effect, water's really great for doing that. And a spray bottle just makes it really easy. I actually found 
So I tried one side with the spray bottle and one side with the just dipping my brush in water and I found the spray bottle worked that little bit better. I'm just gonna make sure all these ends are nice and tidy as well. I actually want You can do this with literally any color you like. If you wanna go really bright and crazy, go for it. Um, you can do this and then add some more plainer colors. You can do anything you like, really. It's a very easy effect to create, but it also takes a bit of patience and a bit of creativity. Over every single bit and I'm actually going to brush some white once this is all done there's a little applique here you can't see it that well at the moment because it's sort of hiding in it in the paint um, I'm gonna add a little bit of um, white to that to make it pop and I might even add some uh, colored wax as well all right and I'm gonna add a little bit of water just to blend it. If you get your paint on and then add your water, um, you'll find it will just blend those colors together a little bit easier. Same at this end. Don't stress about getting water everywhere. Just run your brush over it. Um, sometimes you may find that if you don't, um, all those little water droplets you'll see, um, even once it's sealed. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes. So just something to keep in mind as well if you are spraying water and use a piece like this. These are drying pretty well. Um, I think they're evaporating fast enough that they're not affecting the paint. But sometimes they don't, so just keep that in mind as well. Um, and this piece has timber shelves as well, so the whole piece isn't painted. Um, it's actually got really beautiful timber, but I really wanted to paint it as well. So timber and paint is a good combination. I'm pretty happy with that top piece there. Just keep working this. Work it until you're happy with it. This is very forgiving paint and you can work it into the ground if you want. Again, I've got these ends here, so I've got some steel. Now, when I'm doing this piece here, I am being very careful. I don't want to obviously mess up the uh, bottom of here or this bit too much. So make sure I stroke that bit out, brush it out. That bit there. Add a touch of white, and I'm going to add a touch of ash. Alright, that's that end, and same with this end. Make sure I brush this out so it doesn't look like I've done anything to it, just like so. My child's sitting in there, can you see him? Same with this other end. I'm going to add my steel. You will never get a look like this exactly the same all over, it will always be different and very unique. Um, so don't stress too much about having it all looking perfect. That's not the idea um, of the technique at all. And it's okay for it to be a little bit different. Just add some ash. Blend it all together. Brush that bit out. Make sure I haven't got it. I've been really careful. I don't have any paint from the side down there. So that's all still quite nice and I don't need to touch that. Of course, if I did accidentally touch that bit while doing the side, I'll then brush that out. All right. And then last but not least, I've got these two edges here. 
brush some steel on. I'm actually going to move the whole piece for you. Alright. So at the end, brush some steel on. Not a lot. Just enough. That was probably a bit more than what it needed, but that's fine. A little bit of elephant grey, a little bit of the ash. Actually going to add a little bit of linen as well. Can you see how it's just making it pop? It's not too much. It's not heavy. It's just enough. That it's flowing. A bit more white. So linen, linen's like an off-white colour. It's not quite white, white. It's a very creamy looking colour. Um, it's absolutely stunning. This piece was actually originally going. Shh. This piece was actually originally going to be. Hey, I don't need your input. This piece was. This piece was originally going to be um, linen. And then a change of mind, and this is what I ended up with. Because I've got the timber, I really wanted that contrast with the timber. Um, so I ended up, we're going through a squealing stage, I do apologise. Um, so we ended up with this instead, which is fine. I really want the timber to contrast really well. Um, so I'm really, really, really happy. I'm just going to use my hand as a palette because I put too much linen on my hand just then. Brush it across. If you find it's just moving a little bit too much and blending a bit much, give it a moment, let it start to dry and then put it on. Because obviously you still want it in there. There we go. So I gave it a moment. It only needs a moment or so. A few seconds. Just enough. So that it doesn't just move straight away. Because obviously I want that uh, white streak just there. So there we have it. When Squealy Pants here goes to bed, um, I'll come back later tonight and seal it. Um, the inside still needs to be blended. I haven't touched that at all, obviously because of this toddler over here. But I will come back and blend the inside. So you can see the difference there. That's just steel. That's two coats of steel on the inside and then you've got the top here with the blending. So. That's our difference. I mean, there's two shelves as well. Uh, have a great day, guys, and I will see you next time.